OpenAI launches Atlas, their browser. Did you notice that I loaded this page not on Chrome, Ooh, but on Atlas? It's very meta of me to do so. Do you want to do you want to kick us off with your with your thoughts in general? Would love to see it. I'd love to get your take on it. They're not just calling it atlas by open ai they're calling it chat gpt atlas so is there a reason for that one and then um, number two is it a fork of chrome do we know is it something else entirely what's your take uh that's a great question i'm assuming it's probably a fork of chrome uh, or using chromium behind the scenes but let me show you a couple of cool things first off and this is probably getting to your question of why is it called chat gpt atlas if you open up a new tab that's chat gpt so so I asked it, find me a restaurant near me. It was very quick. This is exactly what you'd expect from just ChatGPT, right? So what's so special about this? This is very cool. I went, find me a restaurant with uh, reservations for six tonight. Needs to have a bar. Continue. So this is the new thing. The takeover. It's going to take over my browser. Why is it going to do that? It's because it's actually going to be showing me what it's looking at. And it allows me to be logged in. Something that I don't think they had in ChatGPT before. This is now using your real browser. Look at this experience. Pretty interesting. It's exactly what you'd expect, right? So the end result here is it's going to tell me what's available. It's not actually going to do the booking yet, but I'm assuming that will happen down the road. If not within the next couple of weeks, right? 